Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second edition of Soundtrack Scramble, the, pound, the panel of real-time music arrangement mayhem. Today, we have five phenomenal composers here that are going to be randomly assigned a piece of famous video game music on the spot. And then they will have about 40 minutes to rearrange that piece of music so that it fits a completely different emotion or feeling, which will also be randomly assigned. Uh, before we get started, a couple of quick housekeeping bits. Uh, this panel is obviously being pre-recorded. However, most of us, if not all of us, will be in the chat during the time that it's airing. So give us a shout out there. We'll be answering questions and chatting as it goes. Uh, and before I have all of our panelists introduce themselves, I'll go ahead and introduce myself. I'm Josh Altman. I use he, him pronouns, and I'm a co-founder of a small video game studio called Digital Daydream. Uh, according to Spotify, I listen to pretty much nothing but game music all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. So because of that, I am truly honored to be sharing this virtual stage with each of these five composers whom I will turn it over to now. I'm just going to go in order of how I have you on my screen here so that I can remember what the order is. So, uh, Megan. Hello, uh, I'm Megan Carnes. I use she, her pronouns. Um, I'm a composer and game designer. I don't really know <laughs> what else to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm making a tarot game that generates music called Divinuet, and I uh, did some music for Helheim Hassel. And yeah, excited to be here. Heck yeah. Chell? Hi, my name is Chell Wong. I'm an award-winning composer. Oh, my pronouns are she, they. Uh, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I worked on Kine and Only Cans, uh, and I'm currently working on Whisker Squadron and doing sound design for She Dreams Elsewhere. Uh, besides writing music for indie games and doing way too much networking, I also co-organized a meetup group called Game Audio Boston, and I founded and produced an annual charity album called the Charity EP Jam. Heck yeah. Jasmine? Man, I gotta follow that. All right, so I'm Jasmine <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> she, her pronouns, and I'm the co-founder of a music uh, bespoke audio company called Perennial Sounds. And I've done music for a daughter raising simulator called Cell Fledge, a JRPG inspired game called Amber Throne. And I'm currently working on music for Kindred Fates. It's a Pokemon trainer where you can basically battle in real time, kind of like Kingdom Hearts. And I, um, I'm also going to be writing music for Gecko Gods. So I'm excited for that. And I'm excited to be here. Awesome. Trevor? Hey, everybody. My name is Trevor. Uh, I use he, him. I'm also a video game composer like all of these wonderful people. Used to work on film, was on Kingsman for a little while. And then you may have heard my music on uh, Kill It With Fire. And by the time this comes out, maybe other things I'm not allowed to talk about yet, but I really want to. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm excited to be here. Awesome. Chris? Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Chris Kirk. Uh, you could guess it, a uh, composer here. <laughs> uh, I use he, him. I know. Shocker. Get I use he, here. him pronouns as well. Um, and uh, most recently, I did the music to the visual novel Call Me Sarah and the vignettes that are also coming out uh, uh, along with that. Um, I'm also doing music for a virtual reality game called Please. It's a working title. However, well, who knows? We'll see if it sticks. Um, yeah, so just super eager to be here. Super nervous. My hands haven't sweated this much since I had to do <laughs> me. <laughs> you got this. You got this, here. babe. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, for the audience out there, quickly, how it's going to work. Uh, we're going to go down the line, I guess, in that same order that we just did. Uh, and we'll have each of our uh, panelists spin the wheel of music and get randomly assigned a piece of video game music. We already took care of randomly assigning the musical feelings that they'll be translating that tune to, uh, just so that they have a chance to set up their uh, workstations and prepare in that way. Uh, as soon as the music has been picked, we'll have them go off and uh, start composing. And then after I go around and check in with everyone a couple steps along the way, see how things are going, eventually we'll come back at the end and we will uh, share the final products and then we'll wrap up with a few, a few thank yous. So let's go ahead and get started. I think, Megan, you were first. Uh, let's spin the wheel and see what we get. What's going to be? 
Ba, ba, ba. Yes, Hades! Yes, Hades. I love Hades. Yeah. So excited. Uh, can you, oh, can you cool. remind us uh, what feeling you're going to be translating it to? Nostalgic or melancholic? Nostalgic and melancholic. We're going to hear some nostalgic. Oh, that's going to be so good! <laughs> melancholic, no escape. I'm so excited. Yeah, awesome. I'm excited too. <laughs> okay. Uh, next in the order, I believe, was Chell. That's Chell. me. Uh, I had Mysterious. Mysterious. Let's Normally see I like tune. to write bangers and bops, but like this will be fun. You can make a mysterious <laughs> bop. Oh, yeah. Super Smash Brothers <laughs> Ultimate? <laughs> My video game? Hello? Wow. Gamers? That's wild. That's, that's super that's exciting. My, that's, hello? Okay, bye. We're going to hear a, a mysterious <laughs> I need Super to Smash figure Bros. out what the heck mysterious is going to be. Oh, why did I uh, stick with mysterious? Oh, well. Bye. You, can, you can interpret that however you like. We're going to hear some <laughs> form of mysterious. What key is Super it in? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 Okay. Uh, next in the order, Jasmine. I'm going to bring up your wheel here and let's see what happens. What was your feeling that you were assigned again? It was serene tranquility. Uh, I'm going to re-roll that one since we already have a Hades, if you don't Wow, mind. what are the odds? What are the odds? Bad. Indeed. What will we be hearing with serene? Uh-huh. Want oh, to be H Hades again, I guess. Hades. <laughs> <laughs> more Bob on Field, okay. Bob on Battlefield. Are you familiar with that one? Does that sound good to you? That's. I'm not familiar with it, but let's go with it. I Sweet. like a challenge. Okay. A serene... Bob -omb Battlefield. Good luck with that one. Uh, All right. Let's Ooh. move on to the next one. Uh, next, I have uh, Trevor. Let's do this. Trevor, let's see what piece of music we're going to be hearing. Full of urgency, I believe. Full of urgency. Movie, correct? It was. Embarrass me with one I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy II. Zero. Yes, that is yes. not urgent. Wow, <laughs> making what we're going to hear it urgent. I, I had, I had a feeling. I got to tell you, let's do <laughs> wow. it. Awesome, cool, urgent to Zanarkin from Final Fantasy. Good luck. We got to get one. there quickly. <laughs> All righty. Later. Later. Good luck. And last but not least, we have Chris. Okay. Chris, you had uh, full of longing. Is full that correct? longing. Yeah. Nice. Let's see. Let's see what we're what we're gonna do. Oh. Oh. Ho. Oh. 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 Docs. Dar -dar Docs. That one is calm and serene already, but I don't know if it's already full of longing. I don't know so if that it's might be longing. An interesting challenge to make okay. it even more. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. For yeah. Awesome. Cool. Dire dog. Dire dire Docs. It is. <laughs> um. Cool. Well, that is everyone Alrighty. then. Off to. The room. I'll Off see you all later. Room. See you soon. I think now uh, Megan went off first, so hopefully she's had a little bit of time to uh, to at least start thinking about some ideas. So we're going to pull Megan back and see uh, what she is thinking. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How is it going? Okay. I don't have a lot so far. That is, you mean in zero minutes, you don't have a lot? That is... Uh, un <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> yeah can you remind me which uh combination you had yes i had hades it's the title track i forget the name of the track yeah uh, i believe the, it's the no hades escape. one the yeah hades that's one. it yeah yeah awesome and so, i got nostalgic or melancholic nostalgic or melancholic awesome uh can you tell us how does one translate hades no escape to nostalgic and melancholic what are your ideas well, right now it's definitely leaning more melancholic, so I'm trying to figure out how to get a little more nostalgia in there. But right now I kind of have like mostly a slow piano thing, and then I have some like string harmonics in the intro here. I can play nice. it so far if you sure. want. Sure, that would be it's great. A little rough, but... Yeah, and then just figured out like the piano melody there. But oh, I'm obviously awesome. gonna have more stuff going on. Thank you. <laughs> that's already sounding very like uh 
very melancholic. Yeah, the kind of uh, dripping lone piano there with the with that string pad is awesome. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. What yeah. uh, What are your future plans? What do you have any ideas on like what kind of stuff you want to add or what you want to do to it to make it sound nostalgic other than what you've got so far? Yeah, I'm thinking of maybe trying to do uh, maybe some like seventh and ninth chords because mm. I think um, the the track is pretty much all triads, which is obviously very fitting for what it is. But I think um, that'll maybe add a little bit of nostalgia, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> awesome. Heck yeah. Thank you. Well, that is very exciting. <laughs> well, I will let you uh, continue working and we will uh, move around the circle and be back in a little while. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. Chell Wong. Ah, uh, Oh, can I cursed? <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have given you warning. <laughs> Zero warning, sir. Fun in fact. Hello. I startle really easily. Fun fact. Hello. Fun fun fact. I am so sorry. In fact. Uh, hello. <laughs> Hi. I know it's very early on, but wanted to Golly. go ahead and uh, get your early thoughts on how you're going to translate... Uh, the smash ultimate theme to something oh, more mysterious. So, uh, I I know this song way too well because I actually used to compete in Smash pre-pandemic. But uh, That's I don't know what to do for mysterious. But I thought this is mysterious enough. So should should I just play it? Absolutely, sure. All right, ready, gamer. Let's do it. Oh. done much more than that oh i already really like it that's awesome the uh the, did you change that uh that bottom note something about that that change right there it just sounds this note here yeah yeah i don't know what i did i just shift the base to like here's the thing i can figure out anything that i'm doing if i actually use my brain but i don't use my brain i just go by gut feeling and i'm like <laughs> yeah if i just move the bass downward it's gonna sound like the cool thing that i wanted to do and the things that i like in my other music that i listen to and then it works. That, yeah, it that, works. that drop in the bass there sounds so mysterious and, and uh, almost ominous. Like it sounds like a, a trailer to me, like a, a movie trailer or something. Exactly. Ominous. This coming, this coming fall. I don't know. Something's <laughs> going to happen. Who's going to be? Kazuya's going to be in Smash. Who's going to be thrown into the volcano next? Who's Who the next? Is the is final Lloyd character? Irving? <laughs> Lloyd Irving, please? <laughs> uh, what are your ideas going forward? Do you have any. Um, like um, thing you, you've already set your mind on doing to try to uh, further fill it out. So as I told you, um, I I will bring it into a DAW and I'm going to, I'd like to flesh things out and, 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 uh, and come, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, a compositional software like MuseScore. Yeah. And then I dump the MIDI into a, into the DAW and I, and I play the music with better instruments and I'll probably fidget around because some of these rhythms don't seem quite right and... That's that's something that I'll just fix with like actual clickable, draggable notes. Nice. So that's the thing. I might add some strings. I might add some sort of ambient texture. I might keep this as the top one as piano. I might make the bottom one like some sort of brass. This one over here is probably not brass. I don't know. Well, figuring it out. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's awesome. Well, that is very exciting. I can't wait to hear more. Um... Well, we will continue our rounds. Cool. Bye, Josh. I'm continue on. <laughs> All right. How is okay. it going? It's it's going. I like it. I think what I wanted to focus on mentally was kind of creating a tranquil soundscape. And it's yeah. kind of like when I when I got a good sound, I knew I could build on top of that. And so I found a pad. And so it's um the glass glass flute from STS33. It's free. My goal was, I feel like with Tranquility, the default is piano. And I was like, I don't want piano in this. So this is me. I, I'm not, my goal is to not use piano for this. The path less so, traveled. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. So I'll, I'll share what I have thus far. Please.
that's what I have thus far. As far as what I want to do next, I do have ideas. Like I thought about something more percussive, trying that, or rather going percussive, having like bass shifts underneath, but like other textures come in. So I guess there's two ways that I could do it. I just don't know which way I want to do. (laughs) So I guess, I guess we'll see what that is (laughs) as I go. Only the future can tell. Well, that is great. Yeah. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, no problem. See you soon. We will move on to uh, Trevor. Okay. Trevor. Welcome, gentlemen. Hello there. (laughs) How are you doing? Uh, I'm I'm tense. Sometimes you write music and it makes yourself like on edge. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, that's a good sign. If you're if you're trying to write urgent music, that's probably a good thing if you're feeling tense. It probably is. I, I was on a horror game jam once and my my measure was like, does this scare my dog? <laughs> <laughs> and it did. And then I went back recently to like update my portfolio and my dog was in the room and she like left. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're doing two Xanarkins uh, from yeah. Final Fantasy X. That's right. Uh, yeah. So tell us, how, how does one get to Xanark and to quickly feel urgent? <laughs> um, so we're, I'm speeding up the tempo just a touch, Nice. but I'm also creating a little bit more space in between each of the phrases. Um, so there is like a, I don't know. I'm hoping eventually there will be like this sense of need to get to the next phrase. Sure. Uh, but we can show you where we're at. Cool. Take it away. early stages oh, that's awesome heck yeah <laughs> it's already some, <laughs> something about that quality is already very um uh ominous uh, I, I i would say it's, it sounds like there's something waiting around the corner that's that's awesome what Thank what you. is what is that instrument that's kind of taken the lead there with on the um the little ascending arpeggios so in the in the beginning we have this kind of ostinato with uh, a serum patch mm. And then I, I I haven't landed on this definitely yet, but I think the melody is just going to stay on piano, but we're going to not let it just be that beautiful piano that you hear when you <laughs> hit start on Final Fantasy X. So I've got some kind of weird effects on there that hopefully make it feel like pushing somewhere. Cool. Uh, so we, we may reharmonize a little bit, and that's sort of what I was looking at next for the second phrase, because um, it nice. does just kind of sit over uh, an A major. Well, that is very exciting. Uh I will let you continue your work and we will continue around the circle. We will move on to Chris. Hello. We have come Yo. come to visit to check in. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing dire, dire docs. We're trying to get full of longing. Um, nice. Uh, stuff I'm doing right now. Uh, right now I'm, I'm just getting like just the melody in for it <laughs> as well as, um, you know, some of the baseline stuff. Um, but I was like, what? instruments you know give that longing feeling and i was like well it's got to be strings right (laughs) at least for myself you know sure um but yeah i mean like the progression itself it's i mean it's absolutely gorgeous i mean it it doesn't get prettier but you know you get this beautiful just then kondo brilliant man that he is you know we just kind of keep going back down um and I just love like going to that E flat area. It just kind of oh. takes us to something just a little different. I'm like, oh man, already there's there's already so much longing in this piece, I think. And it's just a matter of like, obviously that wasn't the intent or maybe it was, but like for I as a player, when I would ever go to Dire Dire Docks, I'm like, I wasn't there for longing. <laughs> I was terrified because you know, you had that eel Indeed. just lurking Deep down there. Water and absolutely... a big eel. Yeah, I'm like, Wow, so that's where my philosophobia started. <laughs> <laughs> started with Mario sixty four. Philosophobia um, for an entire generation, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know, for those who don't, it's like a, a fear of the ocean or like open water. I think. And I think uh, so. Well, I am excited to hear more. Uh, I will leave you to it, and uh, <laughs> we will continue around the rounds and be back later. Back to the top of the order. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Uh, we are back. And excited to hear more about uh, some Hades. Well, I got rid of the little string thing. I decided to go just full 
solo piano. Oh, cool. And I've mostly been um, just figuring out some chords, uh, kind of doing some reharmonizing, mm. uh, slowed down the tempo. Um, yeah. Messing awesome. around, making sure the piano sounds good, fixing velocities and mm. sustains and all that. Um, some detail work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is the kind of little reharmonized bit I've done so far. Awesome. Oh, and I need to fix that sustain, but yes. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That there's Thank that <laughs> that reharm does does a lot. That that's that's really cool. Uh, I, and the Thank piano you. texture definitely um, changes the vibe as well. The what are your what are your thoughts going forward? Are there more things you already have in mind? Um, I gotta figure out um, whether I want to. So the first little bit of the melody, I haven't done the harmonies yet, and I'm trying to decide whether I want to do the same harmonies as in the original piece and then switch it off to the kind of jazzier ones later or just do the whole thing reharmonized. So that's kind of what I'm trying to decide next. Cool. Um, well, that is exciting stuff. We will cool. move back around the Thank circle you. and be back in a bit. Okay. Thank you. Bye. We'll move on <laughs> over to Chell. Ah. <laughs> well, yeah, we are back uh, to hear some more about mysterious Super Smash Brothers theme. Can you tell so us uh, about what you've got going on? Uh, basically, I have ported the instruments and I started to uh, put them to actually better sounding instruments and I've changed some of the octaves and timing. So uh, I hope you can't hear my window outside. what i have so far um oh that's it's, awesome it's coming it's it's not it's not where i want it to be yet so we'll see if i can get it there in time awesome well it is so. sounding very mysterious already so we will move on around the circle to jasmine and see you soon all right tell her i say hi we'll do okay hello hello all right good. hello hello uh, so i had a, had a bit of difficult diff technical difficulty so i'm a little bit further ahead but i didn't make as much progress as i would have liked uh, no one second, I'll share my screen real quick. So yeah, I I literally only added this little bit. I should have I should have added more, but like I said, I had technical difficulties. No worries at all. But um, I can share what I have up till now. Cool. So this is still the melody is supposed to happen after this block I added. Nice. So right. it's still a continuation of the soundscape. So nice. all right. And the melody is supposed to come in afterwards. Nice. <laughs> so I can already hear yeah. that. I can hear the references to it in those melodies already for sure. Uh, okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Are you planning on using probably the straight melody the, the way it is? Or do you think you're going to have to uh, try to make alterations to it? I think because of how I have it set up and I just have that string pad, the jazzy half steps I can make fit in here and it works. Mm. So I won't have to alter. I won't have to alter the melody. Uh, the goal is to not alter the melody at all, except for the length of each note. So that's you awesome. hear, it's like, oh, it's a Bob bomb thing. That's so weird. That, that's my goal nice. is for it. So let the background do it. It'll be fun. That way, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It contextualizes those little goofy half steps to something more. Uh, yeah. For this. this, that's awesome. Cool. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for at least. Well, we'll be back in a bit. We'll move on to. Trip. All right. Uh, we're back again for 
some more uh, urgent to Xanarkand from Final Fantasy. Uh, can you walk us through your uh, developments? I would be happy to. So I, I decided I was going to use this little chunk of time to try and push through like my piano map. Mm. And that way we can just like sprint to the end by arranging what I've decided to do here. Sweet. And I'll tell you what, man, this is a calm song. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd be happy to show you what we're looking at here. Cool. Let's hit it from where the, the melody really kicks in. So we got our intro. And then this is where the like the melody that that really sings out in the A section comes in. And I think I might just compress it all into eighth notes instead of that like kind of mm. meandering like dotted quarter eighths leading into the next measure thing so nice i think we're uh, i it's funny that i got this one i have a guitar arrangement of this song that i'm like looking at right now oh cool uh yeah but it's it's this is super peaceful guitar arrangement so i'm <laughs> i'm looking at this um I'm looking at this next section. I'm thinking I'm just going to like compress all of these longer notes into really shorter moments and then probably get through like the first phrase of the A section and then arrange it out into those other sounds that you heard at the beginning so that it is like a denser thing. Um, can I get a time check? What am I looking at? Yeah, we've got about 15-ish uh, minutes left before we before we come back. Or basically, I'm going to uh, go around the circle one more time and then then we will be done. Uh, All right. Now what I'm doing next might change a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, well, yeah, I am. I am excited to hear more. I will leave you to it and we will move back around and see you one last time. Sounds good. In just a little bit. All right. Hello, Chris. Uh, we are back to hear a little bit more about some dire, dire docs, but full of oh, longing. My gosh. Yes, 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 yes. So I've actually had... <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know how this will sound. I've had a bit of a breakthrough for myself. I was Ooh, like, oh my that's gosh. Exciting. And at first I thought I was just gonna focus on the um, you know, the first melody that mm. you know, all that classic. Yeah. Um I was like, oh, but that second mel when that second melody comes in, uh... there it is. Um, yeah. That's when it really like that is right there is when your heart has to pour out. I was like, I don't want to give it away now, uh, but I'm like, okay, I know what I'm gonna do for that. It's like let me just let me get the MIDI in, let me perform it in, you know, let me get my uh, my you know uh, dynamics and everything turned up in there. Um, I was like, and then I, I think I, I'm excited. I'm like, I think I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah anyways well yeah i'm excited good. so it sounds like you found like a kind of roadmap you found a point in the melody that kind of already brings out the longing and yeah, so now you yeah, maybe exactly. got a nice like kind of climax that you can aim for precisely that yeah nice well yeah. we're gonna uh head back and hear some more about hades and we will see awesome. you for Absolutely. the final time in just a little bit all righty <laughs> hello hello uh, we are going to check in <laughs> with Megan again about some uh, nostalgic slash melancholic Hades. Yes. Um, would you like to guide us through what you've uh, been thinking about? Okay. Yeah. So at kind of the beginning of the melody, I added just some very simple, like uh, harmonization, just like little pedal notes. Um, which we'll play in a minute. Uh, I'll just play that for you now, actually. Sure. <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, thank you. <laughs> and then, um, I'm working on, so this is skipping ahead in the song, but it's kind of the little like distorted guitar part. Yeah. Uh, 
So I got. <laughs> yeah, obviously I need to clean it up, but. That yeah. is wild how much <laughs> the slowing it down and adding that just the, the piano texture can change the feeling of that <laughs> so much. <laughs> yeah, it, it's real fun to work on. Um, I guess I kind of realized this when I was listening to it, but it's like very syncopated. So like yeah. figuring out the rhythms exactly has been, mm. has been fun. <laughs> nice. Well, cool. So good luck and I will see you soon. And yeah, thanks so much. Move Bye. on to uh, talk to Chell again. Tell her I say hi. Will do. <laughs> I scared her last time. I hope I don't do it again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I what tried a calm to entrance. Thank you for introduce myself or uh, make myself known. Uh, we are back with Chell for some mysterious Super Smash Brothers. All right. Uh, for the final time, ah! um, <laughs> it's getting towards the end of, of <gasps> a rapid fire composing time. Uh, can you tell us about what you've been working on? So uh, basically, I was hoping I could get to the B section because, like, uh, I wanted to specifically get to the part that's dun 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 dun, dun. and like, ooh, that part could be like really really fun to be really really mysterious because there's like a lot of this weight and it swells. Yeah. Um. I don't know if I can get to that in time though, but um, <laughs> I added a little bit more and it's like starting to maybe push into like a creepy, but um, so I'm gonna start here. This. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, that's such that's a cool so, little shift. I was just about to pull into the da 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 part. But you then, then you came and you interrupted me, John. And I was like, all hey, right. You know. So yeah, let's see if I can get that done in time before we run out of time. And then I'm just gonna be like, oops. Good luck, and we will move on and see you soon. All right, see you soon. Uh moving on to Jasmine. Oh, by the way, Megan says hi. Ah, oh, hi, Megan. Tell Jasmine I say hi. Tell Kirk and Trevor I say hi, too. Will do. You better. <laughs> we are back okay. to hear some more from Jasmine about uh, a serene bob -omb battlefield from Super Mario 64. Okay. So right now, before you guys came in, I was adding a, a baseline to it. I think that'll probably be, if I have more time after this, I'll probably focus on the baseline and then cleaning things up. I think this might be it in terms of instrumentation just for time's sake sure but i'd like to get a baseline in here to mm. kind of melt things a little bit better but um yeah let's see let's see let's see That's what we got. The recontextualization so, uh, of that goofy section at the end that's normally like the big old cadence of, you know, that's wild how much yeah. that can change. That's uh, awesome. So um, um, if, if there's time, I'm trying to get a baseline in there to kind of help with that, especially at that peak point. Because when I was getting to that part and I was like, how in God's name am I going to make this? <laughs> it's such a big cadence that's just like a the most like in your face, but it's already so well recontextualized there. That's that's wild. Uh, totally different feel from the like. I appreciate that. I don't know what to call the original one. Almost like 
uh, boppy. Just like boppy jazz. Yeah, boppy jazz. Like, yeah. hey, let's get it swinging, yeah, kids. So yeah, that's what I feel. I'm going to talk to Trevor and Chris and then give y'all like a five minute warning. So y'all have got a little less than 10 minutes or something like that. Okay. That's plenty of time. I say yeah. that, but <laughs> <laughs> five we'll minutes. That's so much time. <laughs> it's like three hours. Thanks. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> well, we will see okay. you soon. Uh, and we All will right. continue around the circle to hear some more okay. from uh, Trevor. See you soon. You guys back? We're back. <laughs> Hello there. Hey. Uh, we are back to hear some more for the final time before sure we show, thing. uh, final products. We're going to hear some more about urgent to Zanarkin. I got, I got a thick arrangement of some of that stuff you've heard already for you. Awesome. That is exciting. Do you, you want to show us think. some? Yeah, let's hit it. Let's hit it. <laughs> continues on too yeah i i wish i had more time for this thing that happens next but <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome the the uh you edit i hear some kind of like bass or percussion thing happening down there am, am i right in that yeah yeah, yeah. and it, astute listeners will also notice that the tempo has increased each time you've checked in <laughs> <laughs> nice but yeah we've got we've got this bass thing here now um Yeah, that's kind of looming down there, driving it forward. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Good idea. Uh, the uh, the it, it I what, there's a word that came to mind while listening to it, and it's lost me now. But it reminds me of like a there's been a turn in the story, and now they're having to like run to find something or something like that. It, it sounds very <laughs> uh, ominous and and uh, and urgent. Uh, what are your things you're hoping to do in the last couple minutes here uh, last couple of minutes i need to get some kind of percussion in here i'm gonna try and do something real quick i hope that like you know some some kind of looping high percussion will really drive that sense of urgency home and then um maybe some slams i'm a sucker for some big old toms They're, they might show up out of nowhere <laughs> <laughs> oh boy that's exciting <laughs> fantastic well uh we will, I will move on and talk to Chris, uh, and then I will send out like a little five minute warning and then pull y'all all back and we'll do final products. A whole five minutes. A whole five minutes. Thanks, Josh. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, but we will see you soon. And right we'll on. head on over to Chris. Later. Later. Also, everyone says hi. Oof. Hot mixing. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I see some EQ going on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see exactly how it sounds, but yeah, it's all, well, we're kind of rushing now, aren't we? At the I end. also see lots <laughs> of layers that have suddenly appeared. Suddenly appeared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the magic of duplication and copying and pasting. <laughs> well, you are our final chat before I, um, I'm going to, after we talk, I'll give you another like couple minutes to, to finish up oh, stuff yeah. and then we'll Do all come thing. back together. Um, but in your, uh, what, what are these last couple things you've been, you've been throwing in here? Uh, so really just kind of throwing in the, the rest of the strings. Um, so I was working with, uh, the strings I'm, you know, m most comfortable with, um, a few years, two years ago or something, maybe do what is time. <laughs> uh, but I, uh, I got myself a birthday present, uh, being the BBC orchestra, uh, library. Yeah. Um, and for this, I was like, oh, those strings are so good at just being full of longing. Um, listen to that. It's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, and so I was like, okay, that's what we'll use. I was like, okay, so we'll keep it small and intimate in the beginning. Mm. Um, but then, you know, uh, I'll see about working into in these last few minutes getting a bit of a swell in there probably just some suspended symbol honestly or a harp <laughs> who knows um and i was like and then we'll bring in the full string section so we have the full violin section viola section celli 
uh, a cello and then the basses too, to finally get us grounded right there in the end to give a nice uh, foundation. Because in the beginning, I'm like, let's be kind of floaty and I'm a sucker for writing really high cello, uh, even in my classical stuff, you know, up where it has no business being, uh, <laughs> where, you know, my take on that is it has, the cello has every right to be soaring right there with the violas because why not <laughs> sometimes when you get those extreme ranges too it really brings out the kind of uh emotion yeah. the emotional yeah, yeah, feeling really. of it too <laughs> heck yeah, yeah. So just just doing that yeah we'll see <laughs> that is very exciting well i can't wait to hear the final product the suspense is killing me uh Ooh. i will head back to the main room now and uh give y'all just a couple minutes to wrap things up and then we'll do final products awesome awesome see Looking you soon <laughs> Let's do it. I'm going to close the rooms. Ba, ba, ba. The rooms have been closed. And everyone is coming back. Hello. Uh, hi, everyone. I only came back because I had to. <laughs> no. No, no. For the sake of my career, I need three more hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? I swear. With more than 45 minutes? Mm. <laughs> That's about as bad good as i could do <laughs> yeah <laughs> and the time has come i am so excited well y'all have just done a, a whirlwind of a session hearing Ooh. songs that in many cases you've never even heard before and then throwing together arrangements in the length of a pax panel so that is wild um <laughs> let's uh i guess we'll just go in the same order that we've been going megan would you mind going first Woo, megan <laughs> let's uh, go megan thank you Oh, thank you. Just everybody. <laughs> Love it. You've oh, Hades. It's fine. Yeah, I, I had Hades. I, I had. I forgot the track title again. It's No Escape, right? It's the no Hades from title Hades. music. Okay, yeah. And I had Nostalgic or Melancholic. So basically, I slowed it down, did it solo piano, and reharmonized a lot of it. That's essentially the gist of it. All right, here we go. That's it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> fantastic. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, that's Thank fantastic. you all. Oh, Thank you. I feel bad. Oh, my gosh. I don't know this song, but I oh. wanted to know it because I was like, this is it's, beautiful. Oh, Jasmine, like, you, you gotta play what Hades. It sounds like. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm not a fan of roguelikes. <laughs> Darren yeah, Corp, definitely gonna, hey, I, neither was He's I, excellent. and then I played Hades, and I was like, I'm a fan of roguelikes, but it's yeah, exactly. all, all on its own. I said it. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I wish I could play the original like before we uh, before we uh, do each of these, but the 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 reharmonization there in that like uh, second half of the 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 intro there is is so cool and uh, effective. I think of. Uh, totally changing the way it feels the the dripping piano too makes it sound uh like a totally different vibe that's awesome <laughs> thank you so much i guess i can stop sharing my screen now yeah, yeah thank you it down awesome. so i can listen to them and compare them because like now i'm just like what does the original <laughs> it's sound like it's so <laughs> different but oh, also gorgeous. still very good you can so still good. hear it if thank you right. oh, so video good. games <laughs> no video game Composers. That's what we do. Also, so, video yeah. game composers. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Big yeah. dang. Yeah. Darren Corb gave me, like, you know, real good music to work with. So I was very excited yeah. to get yeah, this. Yeah, no kidding. Him. But also, you did a great job. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> 
that was yeah. nostalgic yeah, and 80s for sure uh <laughs> Thank you. next chell would you like to show us some mysterious smash mysterious okay, so doop, 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 doop. so i first started out um transcribing some some junk in the muse score and then i oh, said crazy. let's let's hurry on up and bring it to the reaper session um and let me just bring it back to the top uh yeah i i'm so used to hearing this song all the time I didn't. I, it, I actually wanted to turn off the loop, and I'm like, ah, oh, dog, it looped. I didn't want it to loop. But uh, yeah, I I normally write bops as I as I said before, but uh, I like to do weird mashup kind of prompts like this in in my regular work. Like what? I don't know. Also, like lately, I've been working with a lot of synths, so it's been kind of nice to go back to like real instruments, and yet still, like, I stuck a synth in for <laughs> history. You didn't go all the way back. X Files. I like I don't know. this. Really this weird. felt like a movie trailer, and it never occurred yeah. to me that that's the purpose of a movie trailer is to create. Like you want to create good mystery in a in a trailer. I feel uh, the movie trailer. Yeah. You want to incite mystery and intrigue, and I definitely felt that. Like, thank you. What, what I is this don't movie like about? The music. Who is the? It's about oh, King okay. K. Rule and how he <laughs> joins Super Smash Brothers. Don't, spo don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. I want to see this movie. <laughs> like just based on the trailer music. Like, don't you know? It's the rise of the low tier. <laughs> that was definitely some mysterious right. smash that was so awesome yeah. that shift that was, there that was yeah. in the middle yeah, that was, was awesome that was, nice. was so good yeah. uh where it what is the uh what is that instrument that comes in during that shift uh this one here this instrument That's is a uh, like, music box but i was wondering if it was a music box so yeah. it's a music yeah. box and it normally sounds like this without the tape on it and then with the tape Ooh, it's like this nice. sort of like weird wobbly. Ooh, I like, like that. I like that. Yeah. I'm gonna stick with That's that. Cool. A nice wobble. <laughs> oh, that was Super Smash Brothers, but mysterious. And next we are gonna hear some Bob on Battlefield, but <gasps> serene. Um, I guess a couple thoughts. When I started this, I didn't want to use piano, and I'm really glad I didn't, because I got to give Megan all of the piano. So my goal <laughs> was to create something serene but not default to piano. All right. Uh.
Wow. My pad crapped out during that. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh dude, what is happening? Oh. Thanks. Yeah. Like, what so out? Good. Okay, that so there's incredible. this. I've been having issues with it, but it's great. It's called STS 33 Pro. It's free and it has mm. like re really great, like fun sounds in it. And the one I've been using is Glass Flute, but for the past week or so, I've been having issues with it. So it, it's been like uh, buzzing in and out, but I oh, use okay. that for the pad. And first of all, first of all, I want to say I'm horribly disorganized. I'm sorry that nothing is labeled and that <laughs> everything is pattern one through eight. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I level things specifically to avoid it's judgment. Okay. So you're fine. Okay. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, but for the oboe, I use Cinewinds Core. I like using their stuff for like solo woodwinds. And then um, I used from Contact, it's called Cuba, this, the Discovery Series. I use the upright bass from mm -hmm. there. They have different settings but contemporary is like is the driest and it sounds the closest and more intimate so i use that for this mm. and also from the discovery series from contact are is this middle eastern pack and they have a middle eastern string section and that's what i used for this and this section also has like it's kind of close it's it's pretty dry ish so you could kind of um alter it a bit to your liking so it's pretty malleable mm -hmm. and then uh Still from the Discovery Sid, the, uh, series, I used the Tabla from the Indian, the India pack. And so that was what I used for this. And as far as like reverb, it's all stock uh, FL Studios reverb and EQ. Nice. So. Mm, nice. Jasmine, I cannot believe how uh, everyone that, if anyone else knows this tune, that ending is like just this huge cadence, right? Like <laughs> everything yeah. leads up to this like boppy kind of goofy <laughs> cadence. And yet in that ending, it's recontextualized so well that it does not at all have that same kind of like boppy, boppy vibe. That's it's really good. awesome. Very. I similar. realized when I started, when you, when I picked it, I was like, I think I do know this song. And then when I heard it, I was like, yeah, I've heard this before. Actually, it was Insane in the Rain. He was uh, playing it on piano and he asked people uh, to join in. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's that song he played. And I was like, oh, my God, that's the song he played. So it worked out. I didn't know what to expect before the melody came in, but then the oboe came in and I was like, I felt like I saw, I, I saw a flower bloom. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. I like that visualization. That's awesome. A, a serene bomb bomb battlefield. Mm -hmm. that, that is fantastic. Uh, next, we're going to hear uh, a bit of a flip in, uh, in vibe. We're going to hear some urgency uh, in two Xanarchan from Final Fantasy. Uh, <gasps> really? Oh, uh, yeah. Trevor, if you would share your screen. <laughs> Do it. Fan girling over here. <laughs> All righty. I'm excited. Ooh. Is that coming this through? Is a yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So take it away. Tell us about uh, how you got to Zion Arkin to feel urgent and, and uh, let us hear it. Yeah, well, I, I mentioned earlier to Josh that like every, every time he checked in, my tempo went up by like <laughs> three clicks every time it was feeling like more and more urgent but uh just like we we got a combination of some like weird piano um symphonic motions from spitfire which has like a really good um what do they call it the colenio patch just feels like really really <laughs> tense and then uh a loop that i got off of splice and chopped it up because it was in four four not three <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's hit it. Yes. That was very yeah. cool. I got like Metroid I like that Prime vibe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like Metroid. Very Metroid vibe. Yeah. Oh, so sick. Cool. Yeah, I Question. love it. <laughs> Trevor, did you have like, are you a fan of Final Fantasy X? Like, or. I have been playing this song on guitar. There's a dude on YouTube called Beyond the Guitar, and he does video game arrangements for classical guitar. I have been playing this song on guitar for like a year. 
So wow, <laughs> no. awesome. I, I ask because in your arrangement, in the game, there's a character called Seymour. And oh yeah. I don't know if you mentioned it. I don't know if it meant to happen, but there's a section of there that sounds like his theme in there. Oh, Whoa. shoot. I'm going to have to go back. And, and it was time. so weird. It was wow. so weird. I was like, oh, that sounds kind of like Seymour's theme as well in there. So that, that's oh, an Easter egg for the total he totally meant that. Yeah. fans. Did that he totally meant that. So on purpose, you guys. So <laughs> I can't intense. wait for 8-Bit <laughs> Music Theory to talk about the genius ideas that we stuck into our arrangements that we yeah. like, yeah, that was on purpose. Oh, yeah, it's totally yeah. a callback to Seymour's theme. <laughs> exactly. It is true. Every time I went back to Trevor, the piano was faster and faster. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it definitely feels like it, to Zanarkin normally is just just such a like pretty, pretty That's song. That's a serene song. But this mm -hmm. one definitely makes it feel like there's been a like plot shift, and now they desperately have to go find something that they that they've lost, or they go, or go, the go. world's gonna you know Final Fantasy <laughs> stuff's gonna happen. Uh, that's awesome. Hey, if, if I made you feel like Final Fantasy stuff's going to happen, I, I feel like I did my job. <laughs> did your job, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It felt like Final Fantasy and uh, Cyberpunk, if they, like, smashed into oh. each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This this feels Final like it's Punk. just like a... Uh, like a compliment fest for everybody, and I hope everyone's I love it. are just That's really good. Yeah. You're all as, amazing, as wonderful, and beautiful mine. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In the company of we're, amazing we're friends, support each other because we're all amazing like that. <laughs> Let's go, gamers. Love y'all. Yeah. Pog. Yeah. Pog. <laughs> yeah, you're my little pog champ. Uh, and now we're gonna take yet another shift, and we're gonna go back to full of longing. And we're going to hear some uh -huh. Super Mario 64 from Chris. Chris, if you wouldn't mind sharing your screen. More 64. Yeah, More 64. Did. Yeah, we had two All Super right. Mario 64 yeah. themes on here. Can everybody this time see it's this? Dire Dire Docks. Yes. Oh, donk. Yeah. Uh, but you added nice colors, too. We tried. <laughs> <laughs> putting putting me to shame over here with my gray. <laughs> what DAW is this? Right, let's make sure the click this is, is off. This is logic, right? This is logic, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um... Uh, so per, per my labeling, uh, explanatory, I suppose, uh, we got some little glockenspiel. Uh, the opening, I stuck with just kind of like the solo versions or the leader versions of each uh, section, um, just to give it a more intimate feeling. It does have, well, you'll hear, there's a quality to the sound that, uh, you know, we've worked with live musicians. We're like, ah, yeah, it doesn't sound like that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but then, uh, then I was like, okay, we got to bring in the whole string section. Um, and then a bit of laziness on my side, I was like, I wonder if I could just copy and paste the beginning into the end and let's see what just happens. Just do it. Yeah. We use you say laziness, we say it's efficiency. Not, it's efficient. Yeah, yeah. I should say that. <laughs> it's Work. smart. Right. Work smarter. Exactly. So here, here we go. Wait. Okay. It's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Such nobody, a nostalgic Nobody saw me song. bring up that Glock in the middle, right? I was like, oh, that's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Live or mixing? I, lo I love all your arranging. It's very like, yeah. Well, oh, thank you so much. It. <laughs> that, you definitely made me long for Nintendo the 64 just, Mario. So oh, right. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. 
it felt like a moment the that like big climax felt like a moment in a movie where i had been looking for my copy of super mario 64 Oh. And then you find it. You return like, home <laughs> after being a, <laughs> you return home after being estranged from your family for over twenty years, and as you go back to your empty house and you find your old copy of N sixty four Super Mario Bro or Super Mario sixty four, and you reconnect with your father, who is currently going. Oh! <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, I do love the ending Thank that you, you have with that space at the end. I, I really that was a nice touch. Oh, that, that was, was so nice. Much. Yeah, that yeah, I like that. I liked it. That worked yeah. really well. Time to breathe. I was yeah. feeling like somebody had amnesia and then like got handed a copy of Super Mario. <laughs> <laughs> it's a score that swells as they like remember their children and a single yeah. tear rolls down. There. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually so. Oh. <laughs> I love that video game so much. It's, it's so beautiful. That oh, game. I'm gonna oh cry. God. I'm gonna hide. <laughs> I would be so sad if I forgot that game. I would too. Oh, no but kidding. imagine playing it's it like for the first time again, though. Oh. Oh. Fantastic. <laughs> that indeed was Dire Dire Docs, but even more full of longing. Um, so that that concludes it. Then we've heard all of our final products. Uh, that's the end of the soundtrack scramble. A uh, couple things left to do. I want to throw out some thank yous. Of course, thank you to all the panelists. Thank you all so much for uh, dealing with a uh, strange technical challenge that is uh, streaming six different people and all their audio <laughs> <laughs> to, to Zoom for you all You did great, years. Josh. You did great. Uh, yeah, and, yeah uh, absolutely Josh. fabulous. I want to go around the circle too. If any of y'all want to plug anything, uh, whether it's even just like your handles or if you've got any projects you want to shout out, uh, anything at all, uh, Chris, if you want to kick us off. Uh, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Um, my handle is in the thingamajig there, the, the name. Uh, yeah. So just at composer Kirk on pretty much everything, uh, even got lucky and got the domain. Um, <laughs> um <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's my handle. And then stuff to plug. I mean, uh, so right now I'm currently, uh, like I said, working on, or rather I finished the music to the visual novel, Call Me Sarah. Uh, but our vignettes are coming out. Um, we just had one launch. Oh man, what is time? I've said it before during this, but I, I think it was two months ago at this point, maybe maybe a month and a half ago. Uh, but we launched Good Look at Home Cooking. Uh, and you can hear some of the music that I did in that. Um, so it's, uh, I believe it's $10 on itch. Uh, that's itch.io. Uh, it's uh, through Team Toad House. It's a fabulous, fabulous community. Couldn't be happier to be a part of it. And just it's great. to do music for them. <laughs> um, yeah, that's essentially pretty much all, all I got to plug. And, you know, just keep a, keep a lookout for small things that I like to do every now and again. Um, and if you end up following me, get ready for a lot of D&D &D stuff because I am... <laughs> A fan <laughs> to yes. say the least but yeah awesome uh jasmine uh same thing my twitter handle is in the place as far as what to plug i kindred fates check it out it's cool the a game that will probably be coming out soon is giga buster if you like mega man zero and fast-paced hack and slash kind of inspired by that Look into that. Um, I mean, I don't know. If you like my stuff, come see me. <laughs> you yeah. know, I've got space. If you need my, my, if you have, if you need music, hire me. That's it. No. <laughs> Heck yeah, uh, Chell. Uh, I'm at Chell Wong Audio everywhere. Um, I am. Uh, the, 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 oh, Wishlist Whisker Squadron. Wishlist She Dreams Elsewhere. Uh, also, as I said before. We had a charity album called the Charity EP Jam. You can find that at charityepjam.bandcamp.com. We launched not one, but two albums just last week as of this recording. Uh, and you can get every album on there. It's pay what you want. And all the funds go to Able Gamers. Uh, but for me, just follow me on Twitter at Chelwong Audio or Instagram. But I hate Instagram. So, ah. <laughs> I'm going to follow you anyway, Chell. Do it, coward. You won't. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just a matter of like how filtered is everything. It's like it, LinkedIn is my most filter where it's all professional stuff. Instagram is less less BS. And, and Twitter is just like, what if birds had buff arms or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> 
a lot uh, of Trevor. trans memes. Oh. Yeah, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Trevor W. Black. I'm everywhere else at Trevor Whitaker Black uh, on Instagram, uh, on TikTok, on uh, DoorDash. Uh, you can check out my website, <laughs> TrevorWhitakerBlack.com. <laughs> Um, and if you want to play a game that I worked on, boot up your PS4 or Switch or whatever and check out Kill It With Fire. Awesome. And Megan? Um, my website is MeganCarnsMusic.com. If you want to check out my music, demo reels, that kind of thing. Um, I'm at Megan Composer on Twitter. And as far as specific projects, uh, what can I talk about? <laughs> There's some that are secret. <laughs> um, I guess the main thing would be I'm making a game that generates unique musical experiences based on tarot readings. It's called Divinuet. Um, you can find out more at divinuet.com. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Well, and lastly, I also uh, want to thank the Penny Arcade staff for uh, helping put together another PAX Online. Uh, I'm sure it's quite a, a, a big, big project, so thank you to all of them. Hey, this is Josh from the future jumping in here because I need to thank Matthew Glenn. Matthew recorded and helped run the whole thing behind the scenes, so thank you, Matthew. Uh, and that is it. That concludes Soundtrack Scramble. Uh, thank you to everyone who's watching, of course, as well, and I hope everyone's uh, staying safe, staying safe uh, and thank you. Take it easy.